afternoon, you guys. We're actually filming on Chris's phone right now, which is why it might be a little weird. But... This is a thing that might happen. Not today, we're just looking for today, but it is something we're looking into. So, I don't know. All right, guys, back to Cameraville. We're super sorry we left you guys in the car. He forgot it. Sorry. Wasn't my fault. But, uh, so we just got done with a chest drive of a Ford Fiesta uh, SE. 2015. Version. 2015. And we are really happy with it. It was really, really nice. It was really, really smooth. It's basically had all the bells and whistles that we were looking for in a car and more. The driver's seat actually went up far enough that I could reach the pedals and be sitting back in the seat. Because with this car, with the front, with the driver's seat all the way up, I still have to sit kind of on the edge of the seat to be able to reach the pedals, which is one of the things that makes me really hesitant to drive. Because if I'm not properly sitting in the seat and I am driving and I get into a car accident, no. So. Also, the one of the things that he mentioned. Uh, when we stopped was that it has a safety feature that if you get into a crash it'll start the alarm and basically try to get people's attention around you but not only that it'll also call 911 if you have your phone connected to the computer which obviously we would because like it had the little like on dash computer like you know where they basically put a fucking iPad in the center console yeah, basically had one of those, and if you have your phone connected to it, it will use your phone to call 911. And it'll also unlock all of, it'll, I think he, think he said he, it rolls down all the windows, unlocks all the doors, so that you can get out of the car in case of an emergency. Yeah. And then it has the alarm that goes off to alert people that you aren't going to be moving, basically. And to get people's attention to maybe get you help. So, and that's standard. That is standard on the vehicle. That is standard on all new Fords, which I thought was really nice. And it's not like some subscription that you have to like pay every month or every year or whatever. It's, it's for just as long as you own the car. it is just standard on the car for the entire car's existence. So I thought that was really cool, really cool feature. And another cool thing was is I could basically control the entire like entertainment system from the center like I could unlock doors I could the only thing I couldn't do is I couldn't un like roll up and roll down windows because that was on the driver's side but basically everything else was just in the center where I could reach it I could unlock the doors I could lock the doors everything else and it was really really interesting it was really nice to be able i mean i know i can do it in this car too but like it just was way more streamlined and the way that forward mirrors are set up they have like a double like mirror on the side for the side mirrors and i could actually like be able to see behind us with the mirror with this car with the way that chris has to set up the mirrors so he can see I can't see anything. Basically, all I see is the side of the car. With the other one, with the second mirror that is also kind of tilted out at more of an angle, I could see behind us. So when we took the trust drive, I was able to just glance in the mirror and see that Chris wasn't going to hit anybody instead of actually having to physically look and make sure he wasn't going to hit anybody when he was merging. And that blind spot mirror was really nice because that one... Um... The one back mirror ha always has like the panel with all the information about the car on it and whatnot, was because it's still on the lot. That mirror was really nice because I couldn't see through the window, obviously. Yeah, so we're not signing for it today. Um, probably not signing for it anytime soon, to be honest. But it is something we're looking into. It is, I think, it's the first, no. 
I think we've test we've test drive drove other cars not any time recently, but we have test drove other cars. But this is the one I think we've liked the most out of anything we've ever test drove. So there's yeah. that. Um, we obviously we have to do more research on it and maybe try and save up a little more for maybe a down payment to make monthly payments a little bit easier. But from the calculations I was doing last night when I was looking at it, if um, if I actually qualify, because it'll be on my credit, because if it went on my credit, and if my credit qualified us for the deal that they're having right now, which is zero APR for 72 months or whatever, if we did zero APR for 72 months on the model that we were looking at, our payments would be like, less than 300 a month. Mm -hmm. Probably, I think it was like 250 a month or something like that. Between the two of us. So that would only be 150 max a month, which would be like 75 a paycheck, which for us is totally doable. Mm -hmm. So that's really nice. It's really, really nice. And it's something we're thinking about, so we'll sh we shall see. Alright guys, so we are back to Chris's phone for the outro tonight because the camera died. <laughs> After that six minute long clip of us talking about how excited we are about potentially getting a new car. Battery. Battery. Dead. So we weren't able to vlog anything else today except for that one clip, but that was basically our entire day. Uh, after that, we went and did some laundry, which was mighty needed. Yep. But that was basically the rest of our day. We came home, basically grabbed my mother, went, did laundry, came home, watched YouTube. He played some video games, I took a shower, and here we are. Mm-hmm. That was our evening in a nutshell. Not bad, if I don't say so myself. Yeah. He was mostly just excited that he got to test drive a new car. That was great. <laughs> he has so much excitement in his little heart. He really wants that car. I do. It, it was really nice to drive. I think that if you were to actually drive it, you'd see what I mean. Like, the difference between that and... The other one. Yes. Well, we shall see. It's something that we are thinking about very heavily. Mm-hmm. But we have to figure out the logistics of such. So. But it's a thing. It's a thing that we're thinking about, so... It is time for sleep, so... If you liked today's video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button because we put on new videos every single day. And like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter and Instagram. All the links in the description below. And I've actually been updating Twitter. No, no, I've been updating Instagram. Wrong. I've been updating Instagram. I've been updating Instagram. So you should follow us because I've actually been posting. Kind of, sort of. I've been trying. Harder than normal. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll see you guys tomorrow as always. Bye-bye. Later, guys.